Next speaker fights zombies, makes software for the government, and hopes his presentation gives you really weird dreams. Dennis Bonilla, world building. Welcome to the Valley of the Real. This is where we live, this is where we interact, where we share our information. This place is ruled by physical rules and judicial limitations. The human condition has really been about transcending this place. So we frame our experiences and we tell stories to one another that might not be the way things actually happened so that we can create memories and we can work through models with these new memories. My belief is that in the very near future, companies will create systems that challenge the real. These systems will feel like the everyday and will interact with them like the everyday. And the companies that will create this, some of them will already exist. Others will rise and will create new economies. And what they'll do is they'll actually prepare world parts for us and we'll mix and match and create new whole societies in this pseudo hyper reality. We'll be able to go anywhere. We'll be able to build anything. And so our interactions are going to evolve. The way that we see data, the way that we see one another, the way that we communicate is going to change into this hyper communication this, this, this way to interact with people in, in, in methods we haven't even contemplated at this point. So in these systems, we can go anywhere. If I'm a kid in Kenya, I can visit the Louvre as if it were real. And I can do that with, on a field trip with people from Australia. And I can be anyone or anything, be it a lamp or a horse or an exploding star. I can do this. And it feels as if it were real, totally, totally real. So with that comes some new things, right? The limitations on sexuality, the limitations on intimacy, those things start to change, they start to shift. And we start to contemplate them in whole new, whole new dimensions. And what will begin to happen is that people will satiate their loneliness. They'll, they'll find new ways to communicate through this system. And some of them will have a very hard time unplugging. They'll have a very hard time being able to communicate without this system. That's one of the dangers that we run into. Another one is that spam will evolve. Corporations will do whatever they can to place their product in front of you. And what that will mean in this advertising ready-made system is that you will have a hard time distinguishing what is being sold to you and what you're actually experiencing. Because who is watching? Anyone that can afford is watching. And yes, you can change your privacy settings. You'll be able to do that. But ultimately, it will be a lot more fun to be open and invite other people into your reality. So unfortunately, your data will be used in ways that you're not expecting. It, you'll be exposed. And you'll be rehashed and remapped and reused in, unfortunately, ways that you might not have originally approved. And people will use their imagination to change your data. And your data will be possibly remapped into pornography or really bad sitcoms. And you won't have any control over that. <clears throat> So the system will be ubiquitous. It will be available to anyone for a low, low monthly subscription. And we will be comfortable with it. And it will dictate our day-to-day -day interactions because we will work in this system. And we will educate one another in this system. And we will create models of a new kind of world in this system. And our kids are going to do the weirdest, weirdest things with this system. They're going to mash up data and really start to think about things that we, at this point, are just really uncomfortable with, like flying gold robots through the universe shooting unicorn missiles. I mean, just like crazy stuff that to them will seem totally real, okay? <laughs> that to them will make perfect sense, okay? So they'll begin to extrapolate, not only to find what is possible, but to really start to understand their own limitations. That's what the system will provide. And who will want in? Everybody will want in, because this system will replace television. This system will replace universities. It will augment the way we interact with one another, and it will be the only way to do business, the only way to visualize and experiment, to have a collaborative conversation with engineers or discuss policy with people in other countries. My hope, ultimately, 
is that we use this system to share and create peace for one another and that we use it to create memories worth having. Thank you.